Hey everybody. In this video, what I'm going to do is set up a site to site tunnel between this VPN ASA and this Cisco firepower threat defense appliance right up here. So we've already in previous videos set up between set up an, a site to site between VPN ASA and this branch ASA. So Let's get started now on the ASA side. Okay. So first thing to do, let's show run. And what, we'll, what we want to do is set up the crypto Ike policy. And we're going to use Ike 2 here. And we're going to use VTI. We're going to virtual tunnel interfaces for this. Because really, if you're building a tunnel in 2022, that's what you're going to want to use. You're going to want to use that. And okay. So the crypto Ike policy right here, this is the policy we're going to use. So we're going to note that AES 256, SHA 256, Diffie Hellman Group 19, uh, PRF SHA 256, and lifetime of 86400. So that we're going to reuse that. We've already used that in the other site to site tunnel. So we'll just use that again. Uh, secondly, Let's look at IPsec, the IPsec profile. So that's this the phase two. Crypto IPsec VPN transform. There's the protocols for that right there. AES 256 and SHA-1 encryption, AES and integrity, SHA-1. And the crypto IPsec profile VPN dash L to L dash IPsec. If you recall before, this is what goes and ties the tunnel to the uh, IPsec profile. So that's that's what does that right there. That IPsec profile is added to the tunnel right here, tunnel protection, IPsec profile. All right, so that's already configured. We're just gonna use that again, this VPN L to L IPsec. So the only other things we're going to have to do on this side is create the interface tunnel and do the tunnel group and the group policy. And that should be all we will need. So let's get started on that. Okay, so let's call this interface tunnel, quit that interface tunnel, and we'll make it 20. We already have an interface tunnel 10 that's going to the branch. So interface tunnel, give it a name. We'll call it ASA to FTD, Firepower Threat Defense. We're going to give it an IP address. And we're going to use the 169.254.20.253.255.255.255.252 slash 30 right here. And it's the same thing we did on the other tunnel. Okay, tunnel source. That's going to be outside, interface outside. The tunnel destination is the outside interface of the firepower threat defense. So what we can do is we can jump on there, uh, view the interface right here. And here we see 75, 10, 10, 2. Okay, perfect. So 75.10.10.2. So the tunnel mode, IPsec, IPv4. And now we tie the tunnel protection. The IPsec profile right here. This is where we said we're going to reuse it. So VPN. Dash L to L. Dash IPsec. Okay, so that's that's completed. Let's uh, show run. 
interface tunnel 20. Let's see if we can do that. Yep, there it is. So that's what you want to do. That's looking good. If you do show interface now, though, of just tunnel 20, you're going to see that tunnel 20 is down and the line protocol is down. So that stays down until the tunnel is up. But once the tunnel comes up, that should be up. We're not going to see that in this video, but in the maybe in the next or the one after that, and we'll see. All right, so let's exit that interface. Next thing we want to do is we want to set up a route. So we need a route to get there. So route. And we use the name if ASA to FTD and the inside interface. Now we know we can see that right here. We should be able to see that. 10.170.10.0. Um, the let's see what it shows us. No sub interfaces. So that is a slash 24. Okay. Okay. So we want to route 10 170 dot 10 dot 0 255 255 255 dot 0 hit tab what to 1 69 dot 254 dot 20 dot 254 because that's going to be the interface right now you can see right here the IP address of this one is 253. 254 is the other side. So that's where you want to route everything that's going over this tunnel. And everything going over this tunnel is going to be going to 10.170.10.0. All right. So we have the route. We have the interface. Now we have to do the group policy. So group policy. I like to call it 751010.2. You can call it whatever you want. Internal group policy 75.10.10.2. And these are the attributes. And the attribute here that we're looking for is VPN tunnel protocol. VPN tunnel protocol, and that's going to be Ike V2. That's a that's a good point. Let's let's we also have to make sure, and since we already have a tunnel here, if we do a show run, we're going to see that Ike V2 is enabled on the outside right here. So that's already enabled. So that's something to think about. And there we see that it already is enabled. So make sure that's enabled. Okay, next step, we can exit out of there. We have to do our tunnel group. So this is where we say, hey, this is a 10.10.2 type, the type, which is L2, which is IPsec, L to L. Um, we're also going to say, we're going to tie that group policy to this. under general attributes. And that will be default group policy 75.10.10.2. Okay, that ties the group policy. Last thing to do is to give the pre-shared key. And that's done under tunnel group under tunnel group 75.10.10.2. IPsec attributes, and here we're going to do Ike v2, remote authentication, pre share key, Cisco123. And it's going to tell us again you must configure Ike v2 local authentication. We're going to use pre share key again, Cisco123. Okay, let's write them and exit. 
and show interface tunnel 20. You notice it's down. Of course it's down. It's going to be down. Show VPN session DB L to L. That shows us our branched branch one, 70, 10, 10, 2. That's the branch ASA. So that's still up. It's been up for 22 minutes. So that's still working. And that's, and on the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Firepower device manager and actually configure the site to site tunnel. So thank you for watching and I appreciate it. Thanks.